Oh yeah, my hair is not looking good. So I did not expect to make this video, but here we are. So yeah, we're doing a little hair update. If you guys don't know, a few weeks ago, I took out my dreads of six years. It was a very, very insane process. Um, if you guys wanna watch the full video, definitely go on my channel and watch it. Shout out to my girlfriend, help me out. But yeah, after having my hair back to natural for a few weeks, I realized that I made a, a, a pretty big mistake, I guess. <laughs> and you know, I felt like this is a good idea to give you guys an update, because who knows, maybe people out there want to also take out their dreads without, you know, chopping them off and going bald. And hopefully this video will help you guys to not make the same mistake that I made. So as you can see here, my hair is looking pretty, pretty insane. I mean, the front is doing whatever it wants to do. But on the sides, it's kind of looking like dreads, but it's it's not dreads, but it looks like dreads. And also the lengths are so, so off. This side is a lot shorter than this side. This side is just long and it, it doesn't look right. So anyways, I messed up because whenever I was taking out my dreads, I noticed that there was a lot of hair product still there. And as you can see here, I assumed, I was like, all right, Whenever I, you know, give this a deep clean, wash it, I'm gonna assume that most of, maybe all of the hair product is gonna fall out, you know? And that's that. <laughs> well, you see here, it did not do that at all. So what this hair product does, uh, I'm assuming, I, I don't know, I, I don't do dreads or twists, whatever, but I'm assuming it does this, is that, you know, use this hair product so your hair can actually like twist and stay together. It's, it's like glue pretty much, but for hair. So pretty much what happened is that the hair product is still in there and it's just forming back into a dread. Like my hair wants to be a dread, but I'm saying no, don't be a dread. So what I have to do now is pretty much go back, use a, a rat tail comb again, and just pick through my hair and get rid of all of the hair product that's in there. And that's what I did right here. I got rid of the hair product, I brushed it out, and it looks normal now. <laughs> As you can see, I'm right here. You can see there's definitely a lot of hair product right there. Not that's like it, it feels like glue. It feels just like glue. So I gotta do that once again, and hopefully, hopefully there'll be no more hair updates. So here we are again. We got the the bucket full of hair still. <laughs> Don't ask why I have it. Don't ask why I didn't throw in the garbage. I knew I needed it in the future. Anyways, we got the rat tail once again. The comb, the rat tail. We got this thing with only hot water this time, no conditioner. Then we got the brush. So whenever I take it out, I'm just gonna brush it out, and hopefully all the nasty hair product is gone. <laughs> but yeah, I really thought that I was done with this. I really did. But oh, okay. I just sprayed my my phone. Nice. I love this thing is not even working. <laughs> But as I mentioned, hopefully this is the the last time, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I'm low-key assuming that once this is done, I'm going to just have a big afro. We'll see. We'll see what happens. So it is the next day, as you can see here. We did it. Well, okay, I can't even say we did it because this person, oh, this person did nothing. She just sat there doing absolutely, look at her. Look at this fool. Yeah, look at you, you look so stupid. Anyways. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I did it myself. And I mean, it didn't take that long, you know, cause like it was shorter, it, we took out the dreads. All I gotta do is take out the product. So I mean, it wasn't that hard of a process. But this is it. This is final. I know it kind of looks bad because it's not shaped whatsoever. It's just kind of there. But uh, yeah, that's it. So it is the next day. I did not record that much of this video. I mean, there really isn't that much to show besides me just combing out my hair and taking out a lot of nasty hair products. But I decided let's do something interesting for the end of this video, which is show you guys my new hair routine. I don't think anyone really cares, but let's do it. So obviously got this thing on, you know, you gotta wear it at night to protect your hair. I don't know what it's called, to be honest. But anyways, it's gonna be pretty embarrassing. I'm gonna take it off and my hair looks, it looks insane when I take this thing off. So here we go. Oh geez, what the? <laughs> there we go, I look like a, a cartoon character. <laughs> jeez. 
So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I do to fix this up because if I, I can't walk out in public looking like this. <laughs> so what I first do is wet it. Now, unfortunately, my bathroom light is broken. So it's hard to show this. What you gotta, you gotta do is just like, uh, you gotta wet the little, there you go. See, just gotta wet it, you know? You really gotta get in there. You really do. This is nice, this is fun. All right. And now my phone is all wet, but that's, that's okay. We move on. All right. Okay, cool. There we go. It's definitely soaking. I need to grab a towel before you get water everywhere. Uh, there we go. I can't. <laughs> but yeah, all of his soaking. Let's do a little of this, a little of that, do a little, uh, little, uh. This is dripping everywhere. This is so bad. <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing full clothes too. <laughs> so now, since that's over, it's looking less cartoony now and it looking like it actually has some some form to it since it's all wet i get a nice little blow dryer and So now it is mostly dry, but it still looks a little too crazy. So of course we gotta get the pick. All right, we just gotta you know, just pick it out and just give it better shape, I guess. I, I don't really know. I kinda just do this because maybe it does something good. <laughs> uh, definitely here in the back, it looks really bad. So you just gotta pick, pick, pick. And until I'm just satisfied, until I'm like, you know what? I think it's good enough. <laughs> but yeah, that is honestly pretty much it for my hair routine. It's pretty basic. <laughs> and there we go. That is my hair routine. It still looks insane. It still looks crazy. It's still wet. It's still a little damp. So honestly, what my hair does, what I notice is that like it just kind of like <laughs> slowly does that. It just slowly like conforms. But anyways, there you guys have it. That is hopefully the last hair update. Hopefully, I, I, I'm i pretty sure we're done now. I'm pretty sure that this is it. This is kind of what I expected at first once I got my dreads, but it just did not look like this at all. It looked kind of questionable. But now, now we're done. Now we're done. The, the hair journey is over, or the, the dread journey is completely over. We're not doing that again. I'm not getting dreads probably ever again. But I did ask you guys some hair recommendations and you, most people said ASAP Rocky braids. Who knows? <laughs> well, let's see what the future holds. But for now, I'm gonna keep it like this, I guess. It's it's good enough for now. But uh, yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys next time.